In case you couldn't tell, Burn Machine is on location today at the Detroit Lions training facility. We've had the pleasure of stepping out on a Sandoval field, working with the assistant strength and conditioning coach, Mr. Ted Rath, as he has put us through an unbelievable beaten and banging workout with Burn Machine products. So let's talk to him, see what he has to say about what he's been doing with the players. I'd obviously seen some YouTube videos and some of the exposure that you guys have had. So I'd seen the product out there. I always thought it was a very interesting tool, interesting piece that we had seen and I got to try a couple of times. So it sparked a little bit of interest and you guys actually contacted us at the perfect time and we were kind of thinking about what can we do to expand and what are some new, new things that we can use to add into our training program and, and to help our athletes reach a new level. tool and our number one thing that we use it for is as a, a dynamic warm-up for the upper body. You have an endless assortment of tools that you can use for the lower body. The upper body, aside from some plyometric exercises, is relatively untapped as far as warm-up procedures and dynamic things that you can do for the upper body. So we use, especially with some of our skill guys and our quarterbacks in particular, we go through a, a whole dynamic warm-up routine with it. And that gets our guys prepared. We're using it at least every other day. Typically coincides with an upper body lift or an upper body upper body exercise day. We do have an entire warm up routine that we go through it that we'll post and we'll walk the guys through. On top of that, we can use it if a guy has a lower body or a lower extremity injury. We can obviously use it to get some kind of cardiovascular work on upper body wise. We can use the speed bag to induce a metabolic effect just basically by getting a guy you know, worn down and cranking his heart rate up a little bit. So it's a great conditioning tool on top of a warm-up piece, on top of a strength tool. Uh, you look, in particular, the shoulder joint is a very vulnerable joint and you do get a lot of injuries. There's a lot of susceptibility for injury, especially for your overhead throwing or a, any kind of athlete that is shoulder down in the sport. That motion, the overhead motion, is extremely traumatic to the shoulder joint. The stronger you can get everything around the shoulder, the musculature that surrounds the shoulder and protects it, the stronger that joint is going to be and the more resilient it's going to be to injury. Muscular endurance is very, very, very rarely addressed in the strength and conditioning field, in my opinion. You get guys that get very big and very strong, but the whole muscular endurance, it, it very rarely gets addressed. The one thing that the speed bag can do is create a little bit of muscular endurance in your upper body, depending on what you're using it for. So especially if you're coming off an injury, an upper extremity injury, there's some things that are going to be worn down. You're not going to have muscular endurance. You're going to need to address those things on top of strength, on top of mobility, getting your range of motion back. You still need to address all those things. But muscular endurance, I think, can come into play pretty, pretty largely. 